In this video, I'm going to do one example on circle geometry. So what is given here in this figure, in this diagram, point A, B, C, D lie on the circle. Okay, so let me make this just a bit smaller. Okay, so let me bring it down. Yeah, okay, I think, yeah. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. A, B, C, D are four points on the circle. O is the center. Okay. Uh, a, O, D is a diameter. O, B is parallel to D, C. And angle B, O, D is 140 degree. So, you want to find x y z and t so the first thing that i see is this is a radius and this is a radius okay so this is an isosceles triangle so first thing that i notice is triangle a o b is an isosceles triangle a is an isosceles triangle okay now this is a radius o, o b and o a are radius so if they are radius these two angles this angle has to be equal to this angle because base these are called the base angles of isosceles triangle so if two sides of the triangle are equal the opposite angles are equal so <clears throat> now what do we know about this angle and this angle they are angles on a straight line so if this is 140 this has to be 40 degree that's done so and now angles in the triangle adds to 180 so I know 180 minus 40 is 140 and now that has that has to be distributed to both of them so this has to be 70 degree and this is 70 degree you may wonder why I'm using doing this okay there is a reason that okay <clears throat> so now you should know one result that angle this angle the second thing that you should know is aod is a diameter is a diameter that's given so you can say angle abd angle abd is called angle inscribed in a semicircle <coughs> So that's a right angle that will always be 90 degree so a b d this angle a b d is 90 degree because it's angle in a semicircle so we know this is this is 70 so this has to be 20 degree this has to be 20 degree so now we can know that in this triangle a in i'm talking about triangle b O D. Can I say twenty plus one forty plus x is equal to one eighty angles in the triangle? So this is one sixty plus x is equal to one eighty. So x has to be twenty degree. Oh, x is not one twenty. X is twenty degree because we take away one sixty from both side both sides. So x is 20 degree. So now can we find y? <coughs> what do we know about y? Okay, so uh, if okay, let me write that result. So they are called trying sorry quadrilateral A B C D quadrilateral A B C D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Is a cyclic quadrilateral I write quad quad for quadrilateral and opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral adds to 180 they always supplementary so you can say angle a I'm writing like this okay so what I'm saying is angle a and angle y or angle C would add to the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral I can say 70 plus y <laughs> is 180 okay uh, because they're opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral so if you take away 70 from both sides y is 110 degree just like that so this is 110 degrees 
okay now if you look at now these two angles this angle and this angle are alternate angle this 20 degree so let me draw it in a different color you got too much of glue so I'm saying this angle can you see a Z there okay, this is these two angles I like to name the alternate angles as Z angles okay so this angle is equal to this angle okay so you can say angle Z okay so you can say angle Z is equal to 20 degree uh, the reason being alternate angles alternate angles just like that I'm not going into much detail I hope you understand this is a because they are parallel these are parallel lines and this is a transversal so if you extend this okay, let me show you that so uh, suppose this is what I'm saying this is this line and this line are parallel and uh, this is a transversal so let me draw a transversal okay so can you see a uh, oops I have to draw it properly I hope you can see that so this is uh, okay so this is can you see a z angle so this is 20 so this has also to be 20 so z is done and we want to figure out t so you can say this is 20 degrees so now can you see in this triangle c b d it's all messy now let me uh, okay it doesn't matter uh, okay can i say that y plus t plus y plus z is equal to 180 let me write that y plus t y plus t plus z is equal to 180 so let me write that y plus z plus t is 180 degrees because angles in a triangle now you know y is 110 plus z is 20 plus t is equal to 180 so this is 130 plus t is equal to 180 so taking away t from both sides t is 50 degree hopefully these videos have been helpful see you in the next video